Hi guys, welcome to my Excel GIS Assistant YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to discuss with you about preparation of geodatabase in ArcGIS. As we all know, database is a systematically stored and organized collection of data. Databases provide a better way of handling and using data. In GIS environment, we use geodatabase to store data. Geodatabase can be categorized as personal geodatabase, file geodatabase, and enterprise geodatabase according to the size of the database. In here, you can see databases are represent with the cylindrical symbol. Under the database, there are data sets that mean collection of feature classes. Under the data set, there are different types of feature classes. The feature classes contains the data with related to the real world. In this, you can see the real world can be represented by the different kinds of GIS layers. Now we will see how to create a database in ARC Catalog. To create a database, you have to go to the ARC Catalog and browse your folder. Then right click on the folder, click on New. According to the requirement, you can select a suitable database. Here I am going to create a personal geodatabase. In this personal geodatabase, if you want, you can rename it as you wish. Then under this geodatabase, you can prepare a data set by right click on the database, then click on new, then go to feature data set. Yeah, I am going to rename this as feature data set. Then click on next. In here, you can select a coordinate system that your work is going on. Here, I am going to select SLD99. Then click on next. This tolerance can be remain as default. Then click on finish. Now you can see a new feature data set is created under the geodatabase. Now we can create feature classes under this feature data set. In ArcGIS, rows are referred to as records and columns are referred to as fields in the attribute table of a particular feature class. Each field in the table can store a specific type of data. According to that definition, you can create feature classes by right click on the data set, then click on new, then feature class. Here, I am going to add the name as transport. You can take an alias as you wish. The feature should be select. It should be added to this window. It means so already created feature class by me. By opening the attribute table, you can see there are lots of columns. These are known as fields, type, code, source, and year of source, year of creation. Lots of things can be added. These columns can be added by using our catalog. Here, you can type the field name. Then you can select the data type according to the requirement. Type, I am going to show the data with text. To create, I am going to add this with long integer. For better understanding about the data types, you can see this figure. In this data types, the precision and scale is determined. According to that, you can select the data type of created field. Now I'm going to add another fields. After adding all the fields, you can click on finish. Now the field added feature class is created. This is a general form to create a feature class. Now let's see how to create feature classes with domains. Domains offer a way to define a range of values that can be used for multiple attribute fields. Using domains help ensure data integrity by limiting the choice of values for a particular field. 
Validation for coded value domain is accomplished by restricting field values powdered in drop-down list. The thing what I'm explained is we can set domains for the type of this land use polygon. As an example, once you create a land use polygon, there's a drop-down list to select the particular feature with respect to the defined land use category. Helps to improve the consistency of the data of a geodatabase. Then you can apply domains for these fields. Now let's see how to do this. You can go to the Arc Catalog again, then click on your created database, then right click, then click on properties. Here there's a tab for domains. You can click on domains, then you can type the domain name here. I am going to type the domain name as transport category. to describe about the category of the transport line. In here, the field type I am going to choose as text, then the domain type can be selected as coded values and the split policy is going to select as duplicate and merge policy is set as default value. Now I can add the code for this transport category. Like this, you can add more codes with the descriptions. Then click on Apply. Then click on OK. Now we will see how to take the domain from the database to the existing feature class. Right click on the layer that you have created, then go to Properties. In the Feature Class Properties dialog box, you can select Field, then Click on the field that you are willing to add the domain. I am going to add the domain to type field. Under this field properties dialog box, you can select the domain from clicking here. The prepared domain is appeared as transport category. Then click on apply. Okay. We will see how to work on domain. Browse your folder, then go to your geodatabase. This is the feature class that I have created at this. Then you can start the editing. Yeah, I'm going to create a new feature to transport line. Zoom on that, then you can digitize as you wish. After finishing, you can double click, then go to attributes. In the attribute dialog box, you can see the type as our coded values as main road, secondary road, or tertiary road. From these, you can select what is the relevant attribute for the digitized feature. I am going to select as main road. If you want to add another feature, you can create a feature in transport line. Then you can select the attribute. The type can be selected by the applied coded values. This is the application for applying domains for a database. Now we will see how to apply subtypes for the database.
Subtypes are a subset of features in a feature class or objects in a table that share the same attributes. They are used as a method to categorize your data. It means we, we can categorize the data according to the type of the data. Under this type, we can again divide in as subtypes. As an example, the transport line can be first category as secondary road. Under the secondary road, that can be categorized into another subtypes as secondary or minor roads or secondary road on bunt. You can see by selecting the main type of the data, the subtype, the relevant subtypes are activated. If I select type as main road, the subtypes under this main road only preview in this subtype column. We will see how to add subtypes in a geodatabase. Go to our catalog. Here I am going to create another feature class. Speciality is the type I am going to select as short integer. Then I am going to add subtype field. This can be select the data type as text, and you can add another fields also. Then click on finish. We find the domain for land use major category and other subtypes to do that right click on your database then go to properties then you can add domains for here under this land use type i am going to add the field type as short integer and the domain should be coded values and this should be duplicate and the coded values are one for vegetation Two for forest. Like that, you can add many things. Then click on apply. Now I'm going to define the subclass for the land use type. The field properties of land use subtype is going to select as text. Mm -hmm. And I am going to give the codes by text. For better identification, I am going to rename this as land use subtype 1 and again you can create another domain for land use subtype 2. Subtype 2 should be contains of the subtypes of forest. Therefore, I am going to add some code values regarding to the forest then click on apply ok now we can apply the subtypes by click on land use polygon go to properties domain should be set as land use type then click on apply under this type subtypes should be defined 
the subtypes can be selected from the subtypes field. The subtype field can be selected as type. You can add the major subtypes as 1 and 2. Vegetation. And forest. In the vegetation, the default values and domain, the subtype can be choose as by dragging this domain drop down it should be land use subtype 1 the subtype of 2 should be select by the subtype of land use subtype 2 then click on apply ok now let's check this in our map add the data you have created To start editing, you can create feature. If you are willing to create vegetation polygon, you can click on vegetation, then polygon, then you can digitize on the land use polygon. When filling the attributes, here the subtypes is default activated as coconut paddy as our already faded domains. If you want to add another land use polygon, as example for forest polygon, you can create the polygon as this. You can fill the attributes under this type is forest. The subtypes should be open forest or land forest. By applying domains and subtypes, it is easy to digitize the features and add the attributes. Hope this video is helped you a lot with regarding the creating of geodatabase with applying domains and subtypes. Leave a comment also in this video. Thanks for watching us. Please don't forget to subscribe us.